The cutoff for the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series is here at Richmond International Raceway. There are a lot of drivers with a lot to lose this weekend, but who's going to end up on the inside of the chase and who's going to end up on the outside looking in after the Federated Auto Parts 400? Joey Logano was your Coors Light pole sitter and led the field to green. Later, Matt Kenseth runs him down and makes the pass, but shortly after that, the caution flies after Martin Truex Jr. gets into some fluid and hits the wall. That was a huge break for bubble driver Clint Boyer, who was struggling early. They come down pit road and make adjustments as they continue to fight for a spot in the chase. Later, Eric Almirola, who was a lap down in 27th, gets the free pass after Michael Annette brings out the caution. The 43 team came into Richmond 17th in points, 29 points behind Boyer in the chase cutoff spot. On the following restart, Joe Gibbs Racing flexed their Toyota power as Denny Hamlin shot to the lead, Carl Edwards went to second, and Matt Kenseth and Kyle Busch followed in at Richmond. Halfway through the race, the 43 car of Eric Almirola was on rails as he cracks the top 10, fighting tooth and nail to race his way into the chase. Things were calm until a caution came out for debris on lap 289, but on lap 293, while still under caution, Michael McDowell hits a safety truck that was picking up debris. The officials in the truck were called to the care center as a precaution. They would be checked out and all okay. The final restart came with 18 to go, and it was the 20 of Matt Kenseth who checked out, and he goes on to win his fourth race of the year. Despite a fourth place finish, Eric Almirola doesn't have enough points to race his way into the chase. Neither does Casey Kane, whose 17th place finish caps a disappointing regular season. We've been around this position for a period of time now, and um, it is what it is. We just need to get better, uh, or, we'll, or we'll have another season like this next year. So we just had to keep working hard and stay focused and uh, try to get, get as much speed out of the car as we can, as we can find each week. We wanted another shot at it really bad. And we have a really, really good race team and uh, just really disappointed that we didn't get Smithfield and Ford Motor Company uh, into the chase again. Among the other bubble drivers who have a better outlook after this weekend are Jamie McMurray, Jeff Gordon, and Clint Boyer, all who are now able to breathe, at least for the moment, before heading into Chicagoland Speedway. It's amazing that you can go from being 10th in points to only on a 12 or 13 out of the lead uh, next weekend, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Everything was just really good, and that's, um, that's good. That's something that we can take moving forward and, and see what we can do in these next 10. We've been beat up pretty bad this year, and to be able to get things turned around there late in the going, you know, through the summer months and get back in the swing of things was really, really neat to see and breath of fresh air. Next weekend kicks off the Challenger round at Chicagoland Speedway in NASCAR's high-stakes version of the playoffs where the easiest way to advance to the next round is to win. For NASCAR.com, I'm Jonathan Merriman.